So how to ventilate let the fresh air in uh, when it's too hot or too cold outside and it can increase drastically your your utility bill. So, so the, one of the solution is it's to make a, a recuperator or air heat exchanger with the separate passes. My recuperator is removable. It is inserted in vertically or it can be done horizontally into the sliding window. It consists of the two parts. The first part actually bored with a three inch hole and uh, which is wrapped. Uh, the board actually the height is a uh, height of the window and it's wrapped into the reflectix, reflectix and stapled so to basically de de decrease the heat exchange the second part is the actual recuperator which is mostly done from the three uh, inch drainage part and it has two passes one pass it's through those uh, hoses gets sucked air into the room using this fan and the used air using this fan in opposite direction through the T get through the tubes get sucked out and then dispersed through those uh, 16 uh, one and a half inches holes uh, for someone willing to repeat it I would suggest to start with obtaining those in my case it's a pre Carburetor preheat ducting uh, hoses, one by 32, 36 inches. It will dictate how big is your recuperator is. I bought five of them for approximately uh, 20 bucks. And then it's F12 Arctic fan. And then the third portion, which easily obtained in the Home Depot. And you uh, also you'll need like five volts uh, uh, from five to twelve volts power supply, and um, basically mostly it's, that's it. So now let's have a look closely how basically this recuperator works. So again, through the cup, outside air through the filter gets through through the hoses gets sucked using this fan into the room and used air again pushed out using this um, fan in opposite direction through this grate through this T and using the uh, uh, tubes for these purposes get dispersed out to the air and heat exchange basically getting in those uh, hoses which mainly in the room those are the parts which I obtained from the Home Depot, but of course I will uh, also include uh, this picture in the description. And again, five volts uh, from five to twelve volts uh, power supply. I use the twelve volts power supply, and, and you may need to use a timer so you will control how often you planning to turn it on and off. So first, what you will need to do is to drill. Uh, like 16 one and a half half an inch holes by perimeter in this first piece then um, basically put uh, four in my case uh, hoses and you will need to cork them by perimeter tight so it will be airtight so the air will not pass uh, exchange will not exchange here and then through the elbow through the longer piece through the T through the smaller piece um, you will have another four hole four holes uh, hoses you would, which you will need to basically airtight on the other side and the whole assembly basically gets oh then you will need to install those two um, fans the advantage of those fans uh, I don't know if you can see it has two extra connectors so one of them you can interconnect like this and one you can cut basically to solder a 5.5 millimeter socket for basically attaching the power supply then the whole assembly through the hole you placed your uh, recuperator and on the other side you will need in a cup drill four holes one inch and insert um, air filter it can be uh, old um, 
HVAC filter or cabin filter from uh, from the from the car and it's replaceable so and then you put you put this one on t on, on when you you put it, it over here tight air tight so air get pushed in and the whole assembly you installed uh, get installed into the window and slide tightly so the whole uh, project cost me less than 100 bucks and uh, I shared it with you. Uh, enjoy. Thank you.